Hello everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Well, it's Saturday morning and I'm going to finally get around to that gutting of the Hugo lock. Um, I was sitting around in the living room and I found this. It doesn't belong to the Allen Wrench set that I have, but it fits this, which is all of this important. I was just going to buy another metric set if I had to. Not exactly sure how this works. I know we got to remove the shackle. I think this pin. I'm not sure if you got to take it all the way out, but I'm going to do it. Take it all the way out. There's a little pin right there. Let's put him in the nose. There you go. Watch something shoot out the hole and put my eye out. Ping! Hmm. Well, this is odd. I thought once I pulled that, undid that screw, the shack will just fall out. There. It's happening when I push that. There we go. It's moving now. Something's moving. Oh, there's nothing in there. I've seen other locks where you do this. Maybe you got to turn it 90 degrees or something like that. You can tell I've never done this before. Well, let me pause this while I figure this out because it's probably painful to watch for people to know what you need to do. I was sitting there just uh, pushing down on the shackle, and I finally turned it towards me, and I guess you see that flat cut out? It allowed this pin to come flying out into my lap, which I assume was the uh, shackle retaining thing, but I guess now i got to get past ball bearings. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Had to need a little extra force to pull it out. There's a spring in here. I don't want those ball bearings to come out if at all possible. Come on, spring. Come on, spring. It's springtime. It is springtime here in Texas, but it's decided to have the coldest weather of the year. Um, coming up Sunday. Not today, but Sunday and Monday. Alright, this stupid little spring doesn't want to come out. Maybe we don't need him out. Maybe we can get a screwdriver in there past that. I don't think I got anybody that's that narrow that will get in there. Let's try Tommy. Violation. Illegal screwdriver use. Is that a, yeah, it's a Phillips head. Jam this guy down in there. And no, he can't get past the spring. Well, if you push the spring down far enough, maybe. All right. Pause this video again while I struggle with the spring. That's why I like the other method, man. Just put your screw over here. Have your retaining plate over here. And you, you've got to get the lock open to get to the screw. You don't have to jack around with a spring. It's just kind of a goopy way of doing things, I think. There, I got that out of the way. I had to pull on it and then kind of like unscrew it. A little spiral out of there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we have access to the screwdriver head. Which, this one's a little bit, a little bit large here. Not prepared, once again, not prepared. I don't think my... This is a good universal screwdriver set, but there's a problem with it. Boing, boing, boing. We'll go in. 
Let me pause once again while I go find a screwdriver. I'm struggling. I got this screwdriver to fit. I don't know what's happening. It's early in the morning. Give me a long drawn out process. What a tiny little screw there. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Set that. <coughs> Excuse me. Set that lock body over there. A little plate right there. A little C clip. Now we're cooking with rice. Oh, um, I was watching Lock Mania's um, his little channel list, and. Uh, there's something that I do that that helps you find other channels and stuff. Is I went over to uh, you go to the channel list of any anybody you're subscribed to, and you scroll through it, and anybody that you're subscribed to, it's grayed out. But anybody that you're not subscribed to shows up as red. A little button there that you can hit to subscribe. If you're wondering what the content is, you can just click on the image of that uh, the channel icon and go over there and look. I like to get the ones that are current, but sometimes it's good to have ones that are like for reference and everything that, you know, made a lot of videos and everything. All right. I'm going to have to pause this again. C-clip battle. <clears throat> Here's something I've had to do before. You, you take a tensor wrench and you put it on one end, you take a flathead screwdriver, and you got the tensor wrench there to give it something to lever against. Oh, crap. That didn't work very well. Today is just one of them days when things are just going to fall apart. I haven't had my coffee. I think that's the problem. Try not to gouge yourself with a screwdriver when you do this also. I'm not saying it's not going to happen for me. There. See, we got a little loop. Now we can pull the offending C clip out. Phew! Oh, I'm telling you. What a struggle. Go this way with it. And let me get a little follower. Yep, and of course we need a shim. I bought some new shims. I'm going to use up my old ones. Here. The wrinkly ones. This shim is a little bit large for this, but... It'll probably work. Man, I need to cut the end off this one. <clears throat> my scissors in here. Not prepared, not prepared. Just generally not prepared today. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Hey, I've got no schedule. I'm on vacation. That's my schedule. Alright. Six pins. Looks like the first pin is a steel pin. Serrated. All these pins are serrated, it looks like. The ones that can be serrated. And it looks like there's counter milling or a ring in each chamber there. Let me see if I can get this. I'll dump the pins and show you. But look at that ring there. Let me check it with a probe. Sometimes these are just visual. Yeah, you really. Just a very slight lip. There is a ring there. You might feel it when the driver's down in there, so it's it's possible. Well, let me move all this crap out of the way. Try to get organized somewhat today. Let's move this back here. No wonder I was zoomed in. There. Pin 
10 one is a long one and let me yep it's a steel pen stuck a magnet to him sometimes they're just uh nickel plated nickel plated brass and you think they're steel but that one's a definitely a steel pen Sorry, I don't have my pinning tweezers here. Where are my pinning tweezers hiding? <clears throat> there we go. Let's see what we've got in here. Yeah, we've got serrated uh, serrations on all the key pins except for the two shortest drivers. I have to remember the cutout is... Damn, man. The cutout is the backside, right? I think so. Well, I think that's the way it goes. I'm all confused. Which one is pin one? Yeah, it looks like this way is the front side. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait a minute. If I pushed it through like this... But this is the follower. Yeah, this had to be the front. That's very confusing this morning for me. I'm very confused. 12 minutes and I'm just gutting it. I didn't even pick it. Imagine if I had the picking in there. There'd be chipmunks all over the place. Standard driver in one. It's steel. Tiny little copper spring. Another standard pin. Looks like it's steel also. And another copper spring. I'm going to leave the springs in there if they... Unless they want to come out. Here we've got... This is a, a little barrel. I'll show you it when it comes up here. It's got... It's tapered on either end. But the, the center part... It's, it's like... I don't know. There's a spool. The number four. Another spool. And number five. And another spool of number six. Alright, so let's bring it down here where we can see everything and zoom in. Focus, please, focus. Alright, let me get a uh, pointing implement. So, yeah, we got two serrations on pin one, standard driver, that's a steel pin. Um, no serrations on two, standard driver couple of serrations on three and this is that little barrel guy either end is tapered down pretty cool this guy's really sharp right here that's the part that was pointing towards the shear line two three spools and the rest of them and serrations so thank you for watching everyone and happy picking here let me show you the bidding again very cool lock thank you black dolphin 90 for Sending this to me, and I finally got around to cutting it and picking it.